Hey, it's Del Jackson, press break by Spooky Nook Basketball, believe it or not. We got Coach Chris Uffner with us today, newly named head coach of the Lebanon Cedars. And we talked off the screen and, and Coach Uffner, he's, he's got that Lebanon blue blood or red blood or both bloods in him, you know, one's red and one's blue. How you doing, Coach? I'm doing great. How are you doing, Del? Good, man. Hey, hey, tell us a little bit about you getting the job and where you guys are now and, and what, what type of things you put in place just to, just to get ready for the summer. Yeah. So um, for me, honestly, it was, um, you know, I've, I've said this to a couple other people. It was kind of a perfect storm. Um, you know, my, my, my twins um, are both now Lebanon alums. Um, they just graduated this week. So when I took a break from coaching, uh, from my days coaching at Lebanon Catholic. It was kind of just to sit back and be dad and watch my kids grow up um, through high school, get to all their games. Um, it was already tough because they're twins. So they both play basketball, boy and girl, playing same nights in different gyms. Uh, so, you know, for for a, a coach dad, it was already going to be tough to, knowing that I was going to miss in person seeing half of them. So um, now that they graduated, you know, it was kind of just the right the right opportunity at the right time, honestly. Um, you know, I'm tight with Coach Spiral. It's my boy. Uh, so I was sad to see him go. But at the same time for me, um, like I said, the timing of it just worked out where um, I'm at a point now where my twins are older. Um, the job opened up and I kind of figured out how to make it work with my career um, outside of coaching. Um, and the rest is kind of history. So I'm excited to get going. Uh, we've we've started some open gyms to get some of the kids in the gym. Uh, there's been, you know, some challenges with numbers, with spring sports and things like that. But, um, you know, we're getting rolling. We're getting there. So nice. nice. Give our give our fans. I know a little bit about your background. You and I talked off screen, but give it give our fans your connections with Lebanon. So start with your playing days, some of the coaching. I know you coach at Lebanon Catholic. Talk about that a little bit and then we'll we'll, we'll get into what's going on now. OK, yeah. So um, I played at Lebanon from 95 to 97 at the high school. Um, was lucky enough to be on uh, three section championship teams, um, two league championship teams. Uh, my senior year, we were 25 and one uh, before we got upset in the first round of districts. Uh, first loss was our last one. So it was a tough one to swallow, but um, love my playing days at Lebanon, uh, playing there for Coach Barnhart, uh, the rest of his staff who um, actually, Scott Klenemack, who I coached later on at Lebanon Catholic with, was our JV coach there my senior year. Um, our current bitty director, George Kreiser, was um, a, 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 uh, an assistant at the high school at the time. So he was also one of our coaches. Um, and playing there for Coach Barnhart really, um, I knew at the time, like someday I wanted to coach at Lebanon. Um, honestly, Dell, because of the way that, that he coached all of us there. Um, it's always been a dream of mine. Um, so, you know, I, again, I was super excited when the opportunity came up. Um, now I get to, to live out, you know, a bucket list item of mine and one of my one of my childhood dreams from my high school days. But um, my career then took me from Lebanon uh, to Franklin Marshall. Uh, so I played for Glenn Robinson for a year over there, um, started as a freshman at point guard. Um, had an OK year, um, get, you know, got injured at some point over Christmas break that made my playing um, a little complicated. I, I played a bunch of games with a kind of a soft cast on my right hand, on my ring finger. It, it was kind of a crazy deal. I looked like an NFL offensive lineman with like tape going down around my hand and around my wrist. Um, and as a point guard, you know, starting in college basketball, it definitely made my life a little challenging, you know, um, being right-handed, but, you know, I got through that. And then, you know, my college career took took kind of a, uh, a different turn. Um, like I said, unfortunately, I only played the one year there, um, you know, had some other other things going on, um, ended up having twins a short while later. Um, so, you know, so, um, you know, again, that that's kind of um, when my career brought me um, back into coaching. Honestly, I got back into the Lebanon youth program um, just as a volunteer. And then shortly after that, um, Scott Klenemack reached out to me um, about helping out at Lebanon Catholic. So started coaching over there with Scott, um, coached there for uh, 14 years, I believe. Um, you know, had some successful years there. A lot of great relationships built with the coaching staff and the players over the years that 
Um, I definitely cherish a lot of them. I'm still very close with, um, you know, we won three district championships there um, during my time as an assistant. Uh, we made it to the Eastern finals once. Um, but again, you know, of all the things I've done coaching at any level, it's, it's the relationships with the kids and the, and the coaches that, you know, why we do it, you know, being a former coach. So, um, you know, and then after uh, my days coaching at Catholic, um, my twins, who, like I said, just graduated from Lebanon, were getting to that age where, you know, I wasn't going to be able to continue to coach over there and watch them play through high school. So took kind of a step back, um, got back into the Lebanon program as a volunteer for uh, the seventh grade travel team. Um, the current seniors that are graduating now, I actually started with them as fifth graders um, and came up with them fifth, sixth, and seventh. Um, coached them for three years in a row, and then I stayed in seventh as a travel coach uh, for our biddy program. Nice, nice. Hey, I, I mean, just talking about some of the names you threw out. I mean, you have Coach Barnhart, who played zone defense all the time. Then you got Coach Klenemack, and he's just running up and down, you know, hope, hoping to outscore you. Yeah. And then you got Coach Robinson, and we've had some stories. We had Will Lasky on. Yep. Will was a point guard and he was like, that dude was so hard on the point guard. So maybe, maybe, maybe it's a good thing. He didn't play for four years for that guy. <laughs> yeah. But you've had, you've had some, like, obviously, maybe not obviously, but, but you've had, you've had a lot of people that you've worked with and around and even Lebanon knowing the way Lebanon works their basketball program that, that you got a lot of things that you could pick and choose from. So I'm going to ask you straight out. Are you blending those ideas or you just kind of have your own, you know, this is kind of the way I want to do things? Yeah, so uh, it's a great question. I mean, I think I've definitely, um, I've been a basketball junkie pretty much, you know, my entire life. Um, so I, I've definitely taken um, a lot from my playing days at Lebanon. Um, there's some things that we'll run that we ran in 97. Nice. Um, you know, I, I definitely playing at FNM for Coach Robinson, who's, you know, one of the most successful, you know, Division three and collegiate coaches of all time. You know, I, I took I took a lot from my year there, um, especially as a point guard. There's a lot on my shoulders, but I absorbed a lot um, in my time there. And then um, definitely some things from my days at Catholic. Um, you know, I mean, I like to play a fast style play, um, confident shooters, kids. You know, if they're going to make mistakes, I want them to be aggressive mistakes that, we can learn from and get better from, um, you know, I, like I said, I'm also a hoops junkie, so I can watch, you know, I watch a lot of college basketball. If I see a set or, or something I like, I, I rewind it. Yep. It goes on my board and get <laughs> filed away. Um, you know, so honestly, the, the thing, um, you know, outside of wanting to be a, a high school coach when I was younger, um, you know, lately, one of the things, uh, the most that kind of got me to a point where I knew I wanted to do this in high school was when I got to finally coach a team um, on my own. Like I was the head coach. Right, right. So when I started coaching travel, even though it was seventh grade travel, as it, you know, I'm a, I'm a firm believer in continuous development. And that was my first opportunity to really start to try some things on my own and take yeah. some of the things I learned from playing at Lebanon, playing at Franklin and Marshall. Um, coaching at Lebanon Catholic and just watching the game um, as much as I do. Um, and I was able to put, you know, put some things together that I feel is a, um, you know, a, a very entertaining brand of basketball. Um, you know, when you have the right skill development and right, the right players in the right spots. Um, so I'm looking forward to, you know, seeing what we have, helping our kids develop and then figuring out what for us is our, is our kind of best brand of basketball. Yeah. Yeah. Um, you're, you're taking Timmy's place. Timmy, Timmy was there longer than anybody else in the, in the LL uh, coaching, and we had his record and everything. So last year, the Cedars, they, they had a major injury to one guard, and they lost a lot of seniors. So what, what do you got that you know coming back, and what, what can you guys build around? Um, well, yeah, I mean, I, you know, with, with what they lost um, – you know, there's a few players that got a little bit of varsity experience last year coming back, um, you know, and, and we have we definitely have uh, there's there's things there to work with. Uh, we had a lot. We have a lot of room for improvement um, and we certainly know we have our work cut out for us. But for me, you know, in, in my 
my um, talking with the players so far, you know, there's, there's opportunity there. Oh yeah. Um, so, you know, that's kind of been the first thing I've been stressing to them. Um, like right now, you know, what we do between now and, and the winter um, is going to show once the lights are on and people are in the stands. Yeah. So opportunity for people to kind of start to carve out their own role um, and, and for kids that aren't happy with their role or maybe um, aren't sure what their role is, now's the time they should be working to develop what that role will be come, come season. Right, right, right. Um, you and I talked off, off uh, camera about going into the uh, LL, um, Section 1. What, what, um, what are your thoughts going into Section 1? I mean, I mean, obviously, you've seen a lot of basketball. You know, you saw your, your boy play, your girl play, and you, you've seen that crossover. So there's no crossover games next year. But obviously, you kind of know the league. It's not like you're coming in here blind. Yeah, no, I'm excited. I mean, it, it's it's the section I played in when I played there. Um, you know, so so there'll be uh, some gyms I'll, I'll have some fond memories of going back into. There will, there will also be one gym in particular that I still get a, a uneasy feeling in my stomach every time I go to Hemfield because, you know, unfortunately for the 97 Cedars, that's where our first and last loss uh, happened. Um, and my high school career at Lebanon was over. So I still get a funny feeling every time I go in there. But we had some great, great years and great rivalries with uh, with all those guys, the Hemfields, McCaskies. Uh, so I'm looking forward to kind of getting back to that because it's in terms of the LL and me being a direct part of it. That's what I'm most familiar with. How about um, um, so being in section one, I think there's seven teams, not the eight teams. So. Have you, you probably didn't have much influence on the schedule at this point, but you, you have a lot of non-league schedules. Is there any, any, any teams that stick out in your mind or are they all pretty good at this point? Yeah. I mean, you know, for us, honestly, with where we're at, um, I'm expecting everyone to be pretty good. I mean, that's kind of how we're going to approach every game. Um, you know, I'm, I'm excited for, you know, some of the local teams that we'll play in some of the local events here. Um, you know, but overall, I mean, we're, we're going to, you know, we're going to get our culture established, give our players some opportunity and, and we're going to put forth our best effort every night. That's for sure. Are, are, uh, are you guys still doing the summer leagues up there? I mean, you used to, Lebanon used to have the, I, I call it the Lebanon summer league between you and Chris, you always had some teams that go in there and run. Are you guys still doing that or not? Uh, yeah, we're doing some things. I mean, right now uh, we're playing in the Hemfield summer league. Um, as of right now, that's really um, outside of just getting some local runs in with some of the county schools here. That's that's really all we have going on right now. Um, I know Coach Shipper was on me about not being over at the Nook on Twitter a little bit ago, but uh, with the with just with the timing of well, yeah, the yeah. timing of everything right. it, this year it didn't work. So he'll well, see us there in, in the future. Probably, hopefully, yeah, it's probably it's better for you to spend time with your kids in your gym than it is going out someplace and thinking like, what are we doing here? We could be working on our skills this tonight you know i mean that's yeah as, as a new coach i i think that i think being with your kids is probably more important than playing 50 summer league games because you really as you said you don't know quite what you have and the kids are new and you're new and they they all kind of want to you want to kind of mesh that together talk yep. about your staff a little bit coach tell me tell me who you got on staff or maybe it's not full yet uh no so so no we're we're good to go so um terry bartlett will be um an assistant with me at the varsity he was on the staff last year um we've added uh franklin Manaya, um who works at the yeah. school um yeah. he's a former cedar big guy big guy uh, so, so he'll be an assistant as well yeah yeah um you know also um a friend of mine who has some ties uh to coaching uh, more over on the west shore uh, but nate miller's on our staff um so he'll be an assistant and then from there, um, the rest of the rest of the staff is the same. It's intact from from what Tim had last year. So I have Frank DeShulio coaching JVs. Uh, we'll have pretty much the same volunteers in the same group at the middle school. Nice, nice. Hey, um, two things. One is your new athletic director. So that guy, I mean, you guys did great. You had a great one, and you you. <laughs> I don't know how. I don't know how the Cedars do it, but. I mean, I'm I'm hoping that we can talk Ryan in to put me up there in that corner. We can do a couple live streams this year. But uh, did did was he was he part of your interview or not? Uh, he was. Um, yeah. Um, so that there was a committee um, which which he was a part of. But 
you know, it, I, I'm super excited to be working with them. I, I've known um, I've known Carlos for a lot of years since my days at Lebanon. Yeah. Um, matter of fact, I believe he may have started teaching at Lebanon while I was like there still in high school. Yeah. yeah. Um, you know, because I remember him from his days before that being over at Central. So um, he's a good guy. I'm super excited to work with him and, you know, ready to get going. Nice. Nice. And one other thing. So I kind of have a feel for it, but a lot of people don't. What makes Lebanon a special place for basketball? Like a lot of our people don't quite understand. Like I, when I coached back in the days, way back in the days, right there where the S is on your screen behind you, there used to be like, I just called them the old guys. There was like a bunch of old guys. They would sit up there. They'd holler at me the whole game. I felt I was at Reading or Harrisburg. They would just holler and scream, but, but they're very knowledgeable. Your fans are crazy knowledgeable. Sometimes they're a little older, but what, what makes Lebanon special to you? I mean, you, uh, you know, you're a product. <laughs> yeah. Well, to me, I mean, to me, it's about the tradition. Yeah. Um, I mean, this, this has always been a basketball town. Um, and, and that's, you know, that's what made me want to be good at Lebanon because I went and watched Kelleher and Coletti play and Spiker and Spiro and those, you know, I, I wanted to do what those guys did yeah. uh, because of how they did it. So um, it, it's just always been something in this town that, you know, I, I just think because of the the success of the program over the years um, and some of the players that have come out of here, it, it's just, um, and, and it's crazy. It really goes all the way down to, you know, our, our youth league levels. Um, I mean, you should see how our youth teams, uh, the parents travel to some of the tournaments that we go to. I mean, they're in the stands and they're going crazy. And, and you know, some of these smaller schools are looking at us like, what the heck's going on here? But, um, you know, it's definitely a passionate fan base, definitely very knowledgeable. Um, you know, we have a lot of people still here that have been connected to the program at one point or another um, in some form or fashion. And I think, um, you know, they're, they're definitely – uh, connected on a very deep level uh, to Lebanon basketball. Nice, nice. Okay, coach, anything you have for us? Anything you want to add and tell everybody that you want to throw it out there tonight? You know, no bulletin board material, as Andy would say. Let, we let Andy do the bulletin board material, but anything you want to pass on to fans or players or our fans? Uh, you know, I'm just, again, I'm just excited to be back um, coaching. I'm excited to be back in section one. I'm super excited to be at my alma mater. I'm super excited for the opportunity that our kids have and my staff has to um, kind of put our vision and our plan in place. And I'm, I'm kind of excited to see everybody along along the, the, the Lebanon journey. Nice, nice. Yep. Hey, hey, we'll end the recording. Stay with me here. Thank you so much. No problem.